All right, guys, my wife tells me I should make a video because I've been working on setting up a pump for my uh, for my plumbing for a shower and a sink and uh, stuff here at the cabin. So I wanted to do a video here to help people out since I struggled so much with it. So uh, at my cabin here, I installed this Drummond pump. It's a one horsepower, has one inch inlet and one inch outlet. This thing will kick on at about 30 PSI. You can see it's right about 32 right now. And it kicks off at about 50 PSI. Um, does a pretty good job. Um, so the water comes in. I have a 1,200 gallon water tank that's buried and it has a one inch line coming out. So this one inch line comes out here and I have a valve shut off here. This is the most important part. You can buy these for about $27 at a hardware store and it's a one-way check valve. So the flow will come up into the pump but not come back. That's what helps you maintain pressure. I didn't know that. I fought with it for about a week and a half. The stupid thing would just kick on and off and surge, and I couldn't figure out why it was surging. It was because the water was wanting to push back into the into the tank after the pressure would build. So, anyways, then you have a, I have my outlet coming in. They're coming out to here. This is another check valve which I put in inadvertently, thinking that was the right place to do it at first, and I was wrong. So I put that. I still like that idea. I think it keeps the water from flowing back into the pump, anyways. But you don't need it. So. And I'm not a plumber or an electrician or anything. So if any of this stuff is wrong, you guys can uh, take it for what it's worth. I just am an amateur trying to do this on my own. So so if it's not to code or if it's wrong, don't blame me for it. So it comes into a mana block. This mana block, I think, was 150 bucks or 120 bucks or something like that. And uh, so it's got uh, six ports for cold, one or seven ports for cold, uh, six ports for hot. So the way I did it was I had my inlet come in. It comes out to here, the cold, and that goes out and up there. So up there's my Stiebel Eltron uh, water heater. It's an inline water heater. It uses 220 or 240 volts. Um, you have to have two separate 50 amp dual pole breakers. So you need 100 amps to run that thing. And then the hot water comes out of there, comes back into here and enters here. And then that goes to all my hot. So this is my shower right here that runs out. The, uh, I, I ran an electrical line here with the GFCI and that runs that. What I did up here for my shower and my sink, so there's my sink and my shower's right there. The shower drains into a 50 gallon drum I buried. And then I have that coming out with a P-trap that goes into my septic system. So you can see that the shower drain comes out of there, shower drains into this 50 gallon drum. That 50 gallon drum, I run a half inch line and that water goes up there into that small, uh, that's a small pump that, uh, it's like a, um, uh, what do they call that, a fish pond pump or one of those things, like a, a fountain pump. And that pump pumps up and into my toilet there. So I'm using, I'm reusing the shower water as uh, my gray water for my, for my toilet. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you'd uh, leave some comments, I'll fix it and make whatever is better. Answer your questions. And uh, I do a few videos with cars and trucks. And I have a Dodge Diesel that I uh, do some stuff on. I'll try to make some videos for that too. Thanks. Have a great day.